Today I'm going to be doing the hair cut and hair color tutorial of the highly requested Nero from DMC5 or Devil May Cry 5. I've gotten so many requests for this. It's got a really cool haircut. What I'm going to do is I'm going to color this first, then I'm going to cut it. I'm going to do the whole process from start to finish. I'm not going to do any talking. Just follow along, listen to the music, enjoy the video, and then we'll break it down at the end. So I'm ready to go. Let's get started. All right, everyone, here is the final Nero haircut from Devil May Cry 5. And I got so many requests for this, so let's go over the entire thing. First of all, I had to bleach this hair out to as light as I could possibly get it. And I highly suggest doing that because if your hair is really, really dark, the color isn't going to take as well. And you need to make sure that you have it very, very light in order to put some sort of, you know, vibrant color, whether it's green or blue or pink, whatever, the, whatever color it is, or red, um, for that really to kind of lock in. You can't just put a green or blue color over this because it's just not going to take, right? You have to bleach the hair. So I bleached it. I used an on this, like a professional lightener, let it sit. Fortunately, the mannequin was already pretty light. It was like a dark blonde, so it was much, much easier to lighten after that. 
then I lightly blow dried it, and then I put a color. I had a hard time trying to find a color to match this type of look. It was not easy. It may not be reflecting in the camera, right, um, as well as I wanted to, but this is, gosh, I, I don't know what, what I did with the color. I think I threw it out already, but it was like a platinum, right? It's almost like a platinum teal kind of color. And in person, it's much more that true to color, true to tone. So I applied it on there, let it sit for about 20 minutes, and then I rinsed it out. And then for the haircut, if you notice on his hair in particular, it's not super, super short buzzed into the sides. That's what I found unique is that if you look at his hair, he actually has some length right into here, which I thought was kind of interesting. And, you know, so I like that. So it's a pretty much balanced haircut throughout the entire thing to where it's about, I'd say an inch long in length throughout all of this, no more than, you know, an inch and a half. And then I guess really what it comes down to is the styling. So I went in and I used my talc powder to really set a good kind of base. And then I realized I wanted something a little bit stronger and a little bit more uh, of a hold and texture. So then I went in with my new cream hair clay, which to me, I think is probably, and I'm not saying it's just because it's my own product, but a lot went into developing this and making this based off of my experience as a professional. So I wanted something that was the easiest to scoop out and you apply it in the hair when it's a little creamy and it just goes in seamlessly. But a little trick that I did, I said, let me take this to the next level. Let me work this in completely into my hands. It brought out the clay texture very, very well, kind of a real kind of um, easy to work with clay texture. Went in when it, when it was totally worked into my hands and then that was really, really great for trying to achieve this type of dry matte finished look uh, on shorter hair. And the results were awesome. It did exactly what I wanted to do. As you can see, you've got a lot of that texture into here. Uh, he's got the hair pretty much all down this way. It's just really textured throughout the top and through here. And, you know, a lot of it is just kind of piecing it and trying to, you know, just mess it up, make it a little more edgy. And uh, I think it really, really came out, you know, as close to, <laughs> to his hair as possible. Uh, and I hope you all enjoy this. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. I know a lot of you have been asking for this for a very long time, and you know I'm excited to uh, hear what you think, and I hope you liked it. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time for more videos with a Slong Guy.